Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, September, no, Friday. <laughs> Friday, September 3rd. Um, just finished some work that I had this morning. I had a meeting and um, now I'm about to get dressed, do a little shopping. So I'm gonna take you all shopping with me today. I have to pick up a few things from um, Ulta, pick up something from Sephora, go to Target, you know, just do a little shopping, running around, and um, I need to film today. So my Natasha Denona Retro Palette was supposed to come today. I have paid for expedited shipping. The Sephora was like, we got you, it'll be there September 3rd on a Friday. I was like, thank you. Sephora said, we got you, February 3rd will be there. So I planned my video to be recorded and uploaded today. So I did not plan for another video to be up. I did not record for another video today. Check my tracking this morning and Sephora's like, oh, we played you. Cause it's not gonna get there till the seventh. And I was like, do, 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 do. Yes, can I be refunded that expedited shipping? Thank you. Cause it ain't gonna get here on Friday. So now I have to, um, I have to film another video, which thankfully I have an idea for another video, but you know how you were just like set and ready to go on one idea and that doesn't come through. So that's where I'm at. Anywho, oh, that's about it. So I hope you guys are having a good day today and let's go shopping. Okay, so we're at Ulta and guys, I, I hate that I'm, I'm even here looking at this. But look at this. Why do I want this so bad? And I know I have gingerbread at home. I have gingerbread extra spicy. I rarely use these, but for some reason this one is calling my name. So I think I'm gonna get it. Don't judge me y'all. Do not judge me. Um, and then um, for the 21 Days of Beauty, the House of Lashes lashes are on sale. So I think I'm going to get these. These look really cute. These are the um, Allura Light ones. These are cute too. Ooh, I'll get these too. Okay. And then I heard a lot of great things about the Jaclyn um, lip product. So I want to get one and only. This is the more reddish hue. Yeah. It has like more of a reddish hue to it. And these are the Rouge Romance Lip Cushions. Um, say what you want to say about Jacqueline, but like, I've ever tried a few of her products and they are good. So, ooh, what else? Like, these powders up here, I got um, a palette of these Accent Light highlighters and they're like, the formula is great. Can't even deny it. Say what you want about her, you don't have to support her. Um, and I get it, totally get it, but I can't, I can't deny her products are good. So yeah, on to the next one. And then I heard that Lancome came out with a new um, scent of their Idol fragrance in Aurora. And based on the description, I was like, I gotta have it, I gotta have it. So I want, I don't go through my fragrances a lot, so I wanna get the, the size in between. I think it's like the 1.7 glue ounce. So I honestly could be really good with this 25 millimeter size, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Cause it takes me so long to get these fragrances, but I'm gonna see if they have the 1.7 size and get that. So at Sephora, I'm only coming here for one thing. The new Anastasia, I'm just trying to look The new Anastasia concealer. So I watched Gabe Loves Makeup and he reviewed that and the one size concealer and he gave the Anastasia one some great reviews to the point where I was like, I need to try this one. So, I'm in here. Do I need to pose? Like, nope, nope, no. you're good. <laughs> I am looking for the Anastasia section and I can't find it. So here is the concealer. I really like the packaging. Um, so I am going to get, I think I, shade 13 was the one that I wanted to get. Okay, so done with my shopping at Sephora. I just had to pick up one thing. Um, got some bourbon chicken and um, what do you call it? Black pepper chicken for lunch. I got vegetables instead of the rice making, you know, small little choices here and there. Oh, look at my brush up. Um, and headed home now. I'll have to go to Target later. We gotta get home so that um, Sean can get the girls from school and I can have Riley. So, I think I'll go home and film and use my time wisely. Hopefully I can film, edit, and upload. Oh, it's in about three hours. That's a zealous, <laughs> a zealous goal. 
um, but that's the plan. So I will chat with y'all later. Good morning, everybody. So it is Saturday and sorry I didn't um, finish off shopping yesterday. I ended up going to Walmart. Um, Target did not have the formula that I wanted, well, you know, in pickup. So Riley Girl, she drinks um, Similac Soy Isolil. Um, she, I noticed that when she was drinking the regular formula and also when she was drinking um, Similac Pro Sensitive, her, she would be like almost projectile vomiting. And so um, I figured the dairy must be irritating her. And I tried Infamil Soy, she didn't like that. So she likes Similac Soy. And as of late, it's been kind of hard to find it. I'm like, everybody's babies out there struggling. <laughs> um, or maybe they're not making large quantities of it. So anyway, Walmart had it. So I went to Walmart and um, I ended up picking up a couple of drugstore foundations. So I know, I know. I did a little poll asking you all how you felt about drugstore makeup. Would you want me to review that? And here's the thing. I used to review drugs, drugstore makeup, so I know that there's gems at the drugstore. However, I have really come to love and appreciate and desire high-end and luxury makeup exclusively. However, there are some drugstore, I wouldn't even say drugstore, like more affordable um, makeup items that do catch my eye. So my conclusion, especially with you all's feedback, is I'm pretty much just going to remain high-end and luxury, but if I see something that really catches my attention, and then if it's good, I'll share it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I picked up a couple of foundations at the drugstore because I've been eyeing these two just for a little bit. Um, one is from the Lip Bar, so I've heard some really good things about this one. And my sister, a couple, was it, no, last week, she was like, Chels, I need a really good, um, Tinted Moisturizer Recommendation. And my sister does not, like, she really doesn't like foundation. She actually kind of hates it. Um, and she only likes to wear it, like, special occasion. So I was like, hey, I've heard a lot of people, like, close, like friends of mine, um, who really like this Tinted Moisturizer by the Lip Bar. She bought it, and when she tried it on, I was like, oh, that's pretty. So I wanted to try that myself. And then um, the NYX Total Control Pro Drop Foundation. I want to try that too. Um, so yeah, I picked those up. If you see them, they're worth seeing. If you don't see them from me, they ain't worth seeing. <laughs> That's how I want to keep it on my channel. So um, especially when it comes to drugstore, because I feel like, you know, some of you all were like, there's plenty of channels that review drugstore. And I would completely agree. Um, so if it's worth it, me sharing, then I will share. So today, the agenda for today, I need to reorganize my room. I need to declutter some makeup. I need to do all the things. So today, what you're going to see, so I have a bookshelf that I bought. Mm -hmm. I bought this bookshelf at least four, what do we in September? So at least four months ago. So here's my bookshelf that you all see in my backgrounds of my videos. So I bought another bookshelf like this. I actually think this one might be taller than this one so it is so it's too much over here foundations i don't even have enough room for these so some foundations have come over on this side i typically just want like primers concealers and powders over here but i've got a couple of foundations over here and then these are palettes palettes and more eyeshadows and palettes and single shadows this is just an organizer that i keep like random things in um so like my pet uh, casings, I've got some hair, berets, other pet stuff, um, and more cat pet casings, and then some fake nails. And then up here is just the same thing. Pack like, you know, what do you call this? Um, packaging that I like to keep. And then here, ideally, I want blushes and highlighters. These are like face palettes and sprays, and then we're back up to foundations. And then I've got brushes, lipsticks, and then back here is just stuff that I can't keep anywhere else. So it's up here. <laughs> um, these are curtains that I bought. So I originally, let me actually just show you my beauty room. I've never done that. So here is my beauty space. Um, and so I originally bought curtains because I wanted the room to have pink 
curtains. And then this is the door that in, um, you walk in to get to my makeup room. And I wanted to put like pink blackout curtains on the door because when I'm filming, I don't want, see, look at that. I didn't want these little faces looking at me. Yes. Not yet. I told y'all for lunch. So I didn't want these little faces looking at me while I was filming. Um, so I bought these curtains, but when they came, they're two different pinks. So here's what the pink curtains look like. And then this is what the blackout curtains look like. So these look more peach. These actually look pink. So um, I think now I want to do more of like a cream color because, you know, those colors will match better. So today I want to assemble my bookshelf and then I want to move the makeup from here into this bookshelf. And then at the bottom of the bookshelf, you see how there's um, baskets. I have these cream baskets that will go at the bottom. And then these books are actually books that I teach from. Here's my doctorate degree, yay! So I'm gonna put that up. Doctor of Public Health and Epidemiology. Um, so yeah, I wanna put that up. And uh, these are all boxes <laughs> that I need to break down and throw away. Boxes that I need to break down and throw away. These are boxes I need to break down and throw away. That I need to, it's, more makeup. I need to figure out where to put that. That's more makeup. And then boxes that I need to break down, throw away. And then this has, um, these also have boxes I need to break down, throw away, but I have stuff in them that I need to put somewhere. And then here is um, my desk, my lighting. And then this Ikea drawer is makeup that I want to reach for more consistently. So up here, I've got primers. Oh, my hands are ashy. Don't judge me. Primers, foundations, powders, concealer, and then powder foundations. But then we've got more powder, like foundations over here. We've got little mini sizes of primers. So like, I need to do a whole, I do want to start doing shopping my stash again. Um, I know I always say this, I do want, and then I forget, but like, I do want to do them more. This drawer is supposed to be for that, but as you can see, it's overflowing now. Oh my gosh, my blush and highlighter and bronzer drawer, sad. It's so much in here. I need to like declutter this um, and make room for other things. This is my eyeshadow drawer. So I've got palettes in the front, and then these are my two, um, uh, what do you call it, brush cleaners. Like, you know, you can swipe off your brushes and use another shadow. Um, and so I've got like quads back here. I've got Charlotte Tilbury back here and then Suku's over here and then individual shadows. This is lipsticks. So I need to declutter this. And then this is like a kind of, I don't, don't want to say a junk drawer because it's not junk, but I keep my brush down here. I have a couple of brushes, hair bows, my headbands, these are cream found, I mean, these are, um, what do you call it? Cushion foundations. Some of these don't match, like the brand sent me all of theirs. So there's only one shade in here that really works for me. The rest are too deep or too light. Cartridges, brushes, Q-tips, like so much stuff. So I really, I just feel a little overwhelmed in this space because it's not as organized as it can be and it's not as clean as it can be. So yes, that's on the agenda today. I'm thinking, because it's probably gonna take me a minute, I'm going to put the bookshelf up today and just put makeup on there. And then we'll do another um, video of decluttering and all that other stuff, because um, this will be way too long. And I got some really good feedback from you all from my first vlog, <clears throat> from people who normally don't watch vlogs, all of you all said the same thing. Thank you for not making it like five hours long. So I don't want to make this long because y'all obviously don't want to watch that. Okay? Okay. So let's get to work. Person that needs directions, okay? Got my directions here and ready to go. So, 
Let's hope this doesn't take me too long. Let's time ourselves. It is currently, nope, you don't need to help me with anything scary. It is currently 3.45. Let's see how long it takes for me to do this. Lego. shorter one here okay but at least with these pegs you can easily take them out and put them back in so i think i'm supposed to do this okay that i think yep makes even way more sense okay there it is you got it okay okay we've getting so weird okay now we're gonna put this one right here that actually is not bad y'all and yes i am sweating if you were wondering <laughs> i got this from target if i can find it i'll link it in the d-box um it should still be there because i got this um i got this maybe like three months ago so this should definitely still be available all right guys we're at the at the top okay maybe i'll get this done before an hour oh no it's already 4 15 so it's already been gonna be done Here's the other one, and we're gonna put this right here and close it. So what I want to do is I want to make my backdrop, my background less cluttered. So what I mean by that is when you guys are watching my videos, you can see like this half of my bookshelf. You can see the stuff up here too. So you don't see all of this. But you see enough, and I feel like it's too busy. So I think what I'm gonna do is 
move things over to where maybe I could put like little, maybe some little trinkets, maybe. Um, or do you like to see the makeup and maybe just do like less makeup? But you guys leave in the comment section, do you like to see the makeup or would you like to see maybe like, like, I don't know, maybe that Dior box go in there. Like just something really simplistic. That's what I'm thinking, just to give the background a little, make it less cluttered. But yeah, let's go ahead and move some things around and see what it looks like. here so much better like it's still a lot like I said I have to declutter but like this is over here it's kind of out of the way I can still get to what I need to get to but you're not seeing it in the back okay so here is the bookshelf obviously there's nothing in there anymore um I put this little box here and I'm trying to decide like how should we have this space should we have it like this um maybe I should move some fragrances over here I don't know yet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and like act like I'm filming so we can see what it looks like and then sound off in the comment section what you think looks better. I'm gonna do like a couple of iterations of backgrounds and you can tell me what you guys like better. I'm open to any and everything because like I said, you guys watch, y'all are the ones watching the video. So whatever looks most appealing to you all, um, but less cluttery, that's what I'm cool with too. Background option number one, where we just have like a little, you know, little box right there that's it we've got everything over here nothing over here i can already see like you've got like too much over here not enough over here so i think we are going to need to shift some things but you guys tell me option number two completely move the bookshelf okay maybe i move a little over here like if i moved like kind of a little to the side so then we have stuff over here but really nothing over here. What are we thinking? Third option. So we got a little bit of something over here, a little something over here. I feel like something's missing like right there. Like something is to go right there. Or maybe not. The home decor is not like my thing. Um, <laughs> it's not my strong suit. So I'm trying to figure out like what could go back there. However, I do like the less clutter. Then I was thinking like, maybe I should get another bookshelf like that size over here. Hmm. Ooh, I got a fourth option. I just thought of it. The fourth option, like you still see it, but there's a little more space in between like, yes, if I'm centered, there's more space on either side of me. Things are not as close. What do you guys think? Okay, we're gonna play around with this. Um, we're gonna get this going. But guys, we are done. The first part of this whole rearrangement. So we are done. I have, y'all, it looks so much cleaner in here. Let me, let me show you what everything looks like. So proud of myself. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do, we'll get to that later. However, so don't pay that no mind. But look, everything else looks so much more clean, so much more open. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with the curtains um, because I waited too long to send them back to Amazon. So. I don't know I'll, I'll figure out what to do with the curtains however here's the bookshelf so I ended up putting my workbooks down there and I ended up putting my workbooks down here which I think I might end up moving those workbooks over here because I can clear that space out the two palettes down there are from Jaclyn Hill and I'm gonna decolor those so I think I'm gonna move those over here so it just looks a little better I'm gonna move those over there. I don't know, but I'm gonna get them all in one space. Ah, look at this, y'all. I was cleaning up and I found my, I mean, I didn't lose it, but I just forgot it was over here. This is my dissertation that I wrote for my doctorate. <laughs> I was like, oh, look at you. Oh, blood, sweat, and tears went into all of that. So yeah, I definitely had that uh, printed out because I was like, this might be the last book that I write 
but I wrote it. It is what it is. <laughs> um, but yes, everything looks so nice and clean. That has to go to the actual recycle center because it's obviously too big to fit in my actual recycle bin. And then here is my actual makeup. And I feel like it looks so much better. Even though there's still a lot going on, it just looks so much better here versus over there. Like when you first walk in the room. So like when you first walk in my makeup room, this is what you see and this is what you see so much more clean than excuse me walking in and initially seeing in that so um and i have to hang that mirror up like on the wall instead of sitting on the stool so we still have a lot of a lot of work to do but we made really good progress i'm very happy about sorry too if my volume keeps going in and out i don't know why it does that all I know is that my volume sometimes when I start a video will start off in terms of the sound will be really low and then it goes up to normal. I've already started editing this vlog and I've noticed that in the beginning of the video. So I don't know how to fix that. I'll try and figure it out, but just bear with me. Um, I don't know why it does that, but I'm going to call it quits for today. This vlog is already way too long. I'm going to try not to make it as long as it is, but it's already too long. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today in this whole organization day. Um, and the next vlog will probably be a declutter because there's a lot of stuff in here that needs to go. Okay. Hope you guys are having a great day. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you're still here, Thank you so much for being here and staying with me in this vlog day. I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad. Um, we upload vlogs once a week and we have a whole bunch of other fun stuff on this video. So I'd love for you to join our channel and that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.